Hello, my name is Kevin Patton and I'm a therapist in Hackney. We may not have caused our problems, but we do have a responsibility to change things for the better. No one else can do this for us. This is an exercise in resolving internal conflicts. Now, there's some scientific studies that show that when your mind and your heart are, are that your heart actually has hormones that affect the way your brain functions. It's not just your brain affecting your heart, they interact. And when they're in sync, human beings are more able to resolve internal conflicts. Now often the conflicts we have are between our rational mind and our emotion mind, between our head and our heart. Now, as an example, if I were to put electrodes on your head, on your heart, you'll know the EEG and an ECG. We, we, we can see that they're both in your normal state all jagged and up and down, and they don't look anything like each other. But if all you do is put your hands on your heart physically, and anyone listening, let's go ahead and, and try this right now for a second. Then, first I'll tell you what we're going to do. Put both your hands on your heart physically, and feel your heart. You put all your focus on your heart and you breathe into your heart. And feel the joy and the life for about two minutes where you think of three events in your life that brought you some joy that made you feel more alive. And step into it and feel it. At the end of the two minutes, you'll be in what, what I call a, a beautiful state, because if we now look at your EEG and ECG and it's dramatic. First, they are jagged, they're rounded. And what's mind-boggling, and I'm sure you probably know this then, they literally sync up. They become identical. They look like they're tracing each other. And when that happens, it's not just your mind. Now, I do say to people, get into your head and you're dead. The mind's great for strategy. It will never, ever make you enjoy your life. It will never let you enjoy the taste of an apple because it'll go, oh, is this organic? Where did it come from? How long you had it? Is it fresh? You know what I mean. Yeah. Now your heart, it can bring the juice of anything right back to you. So what I'm really trying to do with everyone in this situation is I'm trying to show them how to align this up. It's really easy. So if you want to do it right now, and you want to, to test that it works, let's do this. So think of a situation you might have in your life, you know, it's crazy in this area, so, so on top of it, most of the situations we're in, think of something that on a scale of zero to 10, where 10 is totally stressed out and, and zero is, is not at all. Just pick something that's unfinished business in your personal life or in your work life. It's something or someone that's at least seven, eight, maybe nine, just so you can see that this really works. Now, by the way, there are hundreds of ways to do this. 
but we're just going to give you this one because we're going to get it done in about two minutes. So put both of your hands on your heart. Physically breathe deep into your heart. And as you're breathing deep into your heart, feel the strength of your heart. Feel the power of your heart. Feel the beauty of your heart. Whatever you do, that gives you some pride or makes you feel grateful, brings some joy into your life, your heart has guided you to do it. Feel the strength that's there. Breathe into it. Feel the blood flow of the oxygen. And just appreciate your heart first. Because when you think about it, you didn't have to do anything to earn this heart. You're born with it. You didn't have to prove your value, or your worth. You didn't have to accomplish anything. It was there for you. As long as this heart is beating, you have that gift and you live. And it's a hundred thousand times a day, pumping blood through 60,000 miles of blood vessels. You put them all together and they go around you twice around the equator and that's, that's what's inside every one of us. And you don't have to think about it. What a gift. So as you breathe into your heart, feeling your powerful heart, how are you in this moment? I'm going to think of three, but, but just think first of one event in your life, one experience, one moment that you could appreciate for the joy it brought you, if you wanted to. A magic moment sacred moment, a sexy moment, a beautiful moment, a loving moment, any moment really you could appreciate for what it was, if you wanted to right now. And step into that memory like step in your body as if you were really there. See what you have solved there, as if you were there. Hear what you would hear then. Breathe the way you were breathing back then. Let it fill you with that sense of appreciation for that moment. How do you smile when you feel so appreciative, so thankful? What's the look in your eyes? How do you breathe? What's the look in your face when you feel really, really grateful? Just let it fill you up. Fill up with that good feeling. Now the reason that we use our feelings in this way is because the two emotions that mess most of us up, anger and fear, you can't be joyful and angry simultaneously. It's the antidote. You can't be fearful and angry simultaneously. So fill up with positive emotions. Uh, 
And now, think of a second moment you could feel truly appreciative of. And breathe deep in your heart, feeling that power. Just think of any one other moment that you could be from your childhood or your adulthood. It could be last week. It could be today. It could be 10 years ago. Any moment that you could just truly feel alive. That it was great. That it was magical. That it was beautiful. It's magnificent. Something that gives you the feeling of joy. If you wanted to focus on it, read it, feel it, enjoy it. Fill up with the life of it. And finally, think of a third moment where you could feel joy and comfort. Step into it. See it. Feel it. Be there. Feel that joy within. Can you remember? What do you appreciate of your life? And maybe throw in an extra one. Think of a coincidence. You know, we all love it when life happens. It's not down to us. We love coincidences because we didn't do anything. Something happened to us. You're going to do one thing and you, you meet someone that you developed a partnership with or maybe it was a friend or a lover or the love of your life or maybe it was a business opportunity. It, it just came as a coincidence or an insight that came as a coincidence that so valuable to you in your life now. Something you appreciate. What's the coincidence that led to something that you appreciate now? And feel that. Now, as you breathe into your heart, you've been doing this for about two minutes, keep breathing, keep feeling that feeling that's used to solve your conflicts. So the easy way to do that is just keep breathing into your heart, your head, your heart, think of that situation, that unfinished business that stressed you out in the past. But keep breathing and ask yourself this question. Ask yourself, all I need to focus on in this situation, all you need to focus on, all you need to remember is what? Your heart knows. All you need to focus on, all you need to remember, all you need to do when that situation is what? Your heart knows the answer. 
all you need to focus on, all you need to remember, all you need to do is, and then your heart probably knows the answer. I've done this a million times. Not everyone, but let's say in, in a normal room, maybe 98, 99% of people usually find a resolution. And you know what to do next. Thank you for watching. These are my contact details. If you'd like to know more about what I do, please don't hesitate to contact me. And don't wait to feel better before showing up in your life for what matters. Showing up in your life for what matters is how you feel better.